Hello to all my friends at MPI. This is Rich Brack in your WEC keynote, here to check in on you to make sure that you are taking excellent care of yourself still, because I know how it is. You go to a conference or an event, or you come back from working one, and it's easy to slip back into bad habits of not taking excellent care of yourself. So today, I'm gonna to give you a bunch of resources that'll help you figure out ways that you can personally take care of yourself as best possible. Now, for those of you that say, well, I don't have time to take care of myself. Today, I'm also gonna debunk that myth by giving you five things that you can do in under five minutes a piece that help you raise your emotional intelligence, take better care of yourself, reduce your stress, and have more fun. All of these things are really enjoyable and there are ways that you can take care of yourself in just a couple of minutes. Now I'm gonna give you these five things, but there are a whole bunch of other activities that you can participate in to take better care of yourself. I've created a resources page that are going to talk to some of those different things and give you some infographics, slides, and other content to remind you of ways that you can take better care of yourself every single day to be the best person that you can possibly be, both personally and professionally. The first thing that you can do to take excellent care of yourself is listen to your favorite song. Most songs are under five minutes, so this is a perfect way for you to change the dynamic of your day. I've created a Spotify channel that's got playlists for every single mood you can imagine, all kinds of different genres. So if you need some help getting started, there are tons of resources there and tons of songs for you to pick from. Now, if you have your own favorite songs, go create a playlist. Have that at the ready so that anytime you need that jolt of energy, if you wanna have a dance party at your desk, or if you wanna break into a spontaneous karaoke session in your office, because as y'all know, I do love to sing, this is a great way to lift your mood, reduce your stress, and have a little fun in your day. The second thing you can do in under five minutes is give yourself a compliment or think about a small win from the day. Now this sounds like Stuart Smalley from Saturday Night Live, I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me, and it works. Even the smallest of compliments that you can give yourself will change the trajectory of your mentality and raise your emotional intelligence because you're supporting yourself in a positive nature. Now, as far as celebrating small wins, this could be anything from the smallest of wins to the biggest of wins throughout the entire day. Take the time to enjoy the fact that you succeeded with something. Now, celebrate those big wins, but even if it just was the fact that you got out of bed when your alarm went off the first time, that is a great win to celebrate. Those little, small steps of positivity will turn into big momentum for you to be more positive and happy throughout the day. Dear journal, I made a great cup of coffee in my Keurig today. The third thing you can do in under five minutes is just stretch and move your body. So many times we get stuck at our desk or we're sitting for way too long and we forget to move around. Even just stretching your arms, moving around, getting up and walking around your office will do a ton for you to raise your energy in a heartbeat. No pun intended. Number four, unload your thoughts. This can come in the form of journaling, calling up a friend, figuring out what is going on in your mind. Because if you think about how the day goes along, we take on more thoughts, we take on more interactions, we take on more communications and stimulus. And if we look at that as weight, it's additional weight as it goes through the, the entire day. If you stop and take a break at lunchtime and just journal, get your thoughts out, call up a friend or, or just even sharing your thoughts out loud or jotting them down on a, on a piece of paper, that helps get some of that weight off of your mind. You can focus better, you have higher focus on your projects and on the to-do list that you need to get done throughout the day as opposed to carrying that weight as it gets heavier and heavier throughout your day. I don't think my office has enough color in it. And finally, take a deep breath and express gratitude for something. Even taking that deep breath and calming down your mind and your body is really transformative in your day. So many times we get stressed out or we take shorter, more shallow breaths and it adds stress on our system and on our bodies and on our minds. Taking that deep breath allows you to slow down, take a pause in your day, and by expressing gratitude, you're inserting intentional happiness. You're raising your levels of dopamine by being thankful for the things that build you from your foundation of happiness. Even creating a small gratitude list of five to 10 things that you're really grateful for, your family, your health, your friends, your job, your house, whatever those things are, start with those. Building those little increments of gratitude will do tremendous things for your mental health. And let me practice what I preach by sharing my gratitude for each and every one of you, how hard you work, all the things that you're doing to make events happen, make conferences happen, and it's not an easy job, and I appreciate each and every one of you for how hard you work. Thank you to each and every one of you for watching this video. I hope these resources help you take better care of yourself and that you live a healthier, happier life personally and professionally every single day. I hope to see you soon, and until then, please, please take care of yourself.